Hi, everybody. This is going to be a very brief tutorial and tour of our new website layout. So it is um, greenconnections.com and it is the same content that we had on the site in our previous layout, but we do have a new server and a new um, atmosphere for you to explore. So I wanna just walk you through how the site looks now and how to find everything. So this is greenconnections.com and you can always get back to the main page by clicking either this banner at the top or Green Connections where it appears at the beginning of this breadcrumb trail, which will show you what page you are on on the website. As we scroll down this initial site, you will see the different sections. Um, most of these we had before. There are a couple of new sections um, and new divisions for the information. Down at the bottom, you will see linked icons to the different Green County repositories that have participated in this project by sharing information or helping us to digitize local collections. And we encourage you to visit those repositories, visit their websites and interact with them for even more records. So just coming up to the top of our list, the first section is the archives. This is the bulk of our website. This is where you're going to find the thousands of photographs and documents that have been shared by local families, organizations, and repositories with the Green Connections, Green County, Pennsylvania Archives Project. So the initial page here provides the link to actually enter the archives and participate in some different things. There is a video tour here about actually using the archives. So we encourage you to watch that. We will be updating that as well, um, just to have the most recent information on there. So that will be coming. And as you scroll through here, the collections list is another way to get into the archives. If you wanna to look to see if there's a relevant collection or series that interests you. And again, you'll learn more about that in the video that will be on this main um, archives page. So you wanna come and watch that. Um, but we have different sections here in the archives telling you how to get high resolution downloads, how to um, have some quick things to search the archives, how to actually share your collection if you would like to, uh, citing your sources when you use our material. And then on each section page, there's always gonna be this about us with contact information. And again, our local partners to help you um, just kind of navigate the site and, and, and get background information. So now if we go back to Green Connections, the next section in this is a new section, though the material in it was on our old website as well. If you go into the A to Z databases, these are links to uh, really key online resources for Greene County, Pennsylvania research. We will be adding more to this um, and fine tuning what's on here and we welcome your feedback and ideas. But you can scroll through these, you can, you can jump around the alphabet, some of the popular ones are here in the sidebar to highlight them, but you're gonna see different um, research tools uh, and different local websites, repositories in the area, as well as research guides and video presentations um, about certain ancestors from Greene County or about certain things that can help you with your research. So you can come in here and explore these different resources to learn more. And then we're gonna go back to Green Connections. Uh, the blog is, again, this was a part of our previous site and this highlights some of the different things in our collections and some different local history stories. We are still pulling all of the blogs over from the old site. So um, come back here if you'd like to receive emails when there are new blog uh, release. You can subscribe to the blog here. And like I said, only we've only pulled over one of our blogs so far. So definitely come back because we will be pulling over the rest of the blogs. And then if we scroll on down, the books section is new. Uh, again, we did have some of these books in our resources tab in the old layout, but we are building this. 
this is only a very slight uh, bibliography of the thousands of books available for Greene County research, we really encourage you to visit the Cornerstone Genealogical Society. You can go to their website and visit their library, which is run by volunteers in Waynesburg. Um, that's where you're going to find so much. You'll find these books plus so much more. You can also go to the other local public libraries in uh, Waynesburg and Carmichael's and around Greene County to find more of this information. But there, some of these books are available online. Some of them we just want to highlight and make sure you know about so that you can ask for them at the local libraries. And if you don't live in Greene County and don't have easy access, please remember that you can go to your local library in your town and and ask for an interlibrary loan. Uh, interlibrary loan works between libraries across the country and around the world. So you can take this um, book information to them and ask them to borrow it for you from another library. So the links in these books um, will take you to more information about each book if they are available to view online as this one is. Um, the link will actually take you to a way to see that book online. So you can uh, ex you can scroll down and see these different books. There are quick links on the side to take you to different um, categories of books and explore all of this information. And again, we will be adding more, but it will never be a full comprehensive list. You're going to always want to go to your local library or the um, Cornerstone Genealogical Society to find more. Okay, coming back to Green Connections, we're going to go to the cemeteries list. This is another really large part of the website. This part is under construction because we just have so much material to add. And we really, this is an area where you can really get involved and help us. So um, there's an intro here reminding you about the wonderful 12 volumes of Cemetery Records of Greene County, Pennsylvania done by the Hennens. These are available at the Cornerstone Genealogical Society to view or purchase. They also can be obtained um, through your local library, through interlibrary loan. Um, and you will find the full book information on that books tab on the website. Um, that's where we get the list of cemeteries, but we did not pull all of the data from the Hennen books. The Hennens did go cemetery to cemetery and write down tombstone inscriptions. And some of those tombstones are gone or unreadable today. So it is really important to look at the Hennen books. Um, what we are doing now is going township by township and listing the cemeteries. And we are using find a grave to photograph and share and transcribe the tombstones as we can find them today. So um, we encourage you to go down this list. And if you know about cemeteries we don't have, if you can help us with driving directions to these cemeteries, uh, if you want to participate with Find a Grave and go and photograph these cemeteries, we encourage your participation. One of the other things you're going to find in this cemetery list are the WPA cemetery plots. Um, we are still adding these. These are actually included in the Green Connections Archives project, so you're going to find them under the Archives tab as well. But when you click on them, you're going to find them with all the information, with a cross-reference to Hennen, and any other details that we're able to add about those. So they are not all loaded yet. We're working through the townships and getting them on here. Um, we also do take requests. So if you need one that hasn't been added yet, please send us an email and we will prioritize adding that cemetery. Another thing some of the cemeteries will have are links to the archives project specifically. This generally means that there are additional photographs or records that have been shared with the archives project from different family collections related to that cemetery. So you'll want to you'll want to take a look at those if you see that listed. Okay, so we really encourage you to explore these different cemeteries and lists here and um, definitely reach out to us. This is a part where we can work together. So I'm going to go back to Green Connections, the resources tab has a number of different categories for local history and genealogy research. And you can go through these and there's going to be tools 
like these blank forms you can use to transcribe census records, links to the records. Um, here on the military page, you can see we have broken down how to reach out to the National Archives, um, things you can find at the Pennsylvania State Archives, other things that might be online that you can use, as well as local resources like blogs, Facebook pages where you can interact with the local history. So you'll find lots of online materials here as well as things pointing you to things you can use offline. Particularly, um, we have guides to the courthouse records here. These are specific to Greene County, so it will give you contact information for local offices. It will let you know about the records that they have and what records are online if there are any. Remember that a lot of our Greene County courthouse records have not been digitized. Um, just some of the very earliest ones have either been digitized or transcribed. So you do need to go on site or interact with the courthouse. So you can explore these different tabs. So anyway, there is a lot you can see here of different categories. And if you have websites and projects to add, please reach out to us. Okay. Coming back, the Waynesburg College alumni is another section we are actively developing. Um, there's some, some history here um, and some different tools that you can get into to learn about the early alumni. We have a large amount of information that we have partnered with Waynesburg University Paul R. Stewart Museum, as well as several of the other offices at the university to digitize the early records. Um, once it gets past the early classes that we have digitized, you will need to reach out directly to the school to learn about later classes. But there's some wonderful um, information here in these archives, and we will be adding this um, 1912 earliest yearbook, so keep an eye out for that. Right now, we do have a list of graduates by year, we will also be adding an alphabetical list. So if you don't know what year they graduated, it'll make it easier to find them in the alphabetical list. So keep an eye, that will be coming very soon. Um, we will be linking each of these names so that you will be able to click and go to individual profiles. Until we get that developed, you can look up each of these names back in the archives section so um, you can come here to the archives section and when you enter the archives, you can look up their names and get to their records. Then the World War I Rain Day Boys project, you can also get to this by going directly to raindayboys.com. It will take you to this page. So there's um, history here, not only related to the Rain Day Boys, which were 18 of our Greene County soldiers lost in one battle between July 28th and 29th, uh, 1918 in France. But actually it refers to all of our World War I soldiers, particularly our fallen World War I soldiers from Greene County. But we are developing more history here for all of the uh, Greene County soldiers who participated in the war. So you will find some videos here we are working on a historical timeline to kind of walk you through what the experience of our local soldiers were. And then for the fallen soldiers, we do have profiles. You can click on each one of these to learn more about them. We are developing those stories constantly. So if you have pictures or information about them, we really would love to hear from you. There's a link directly to their grave locations if you would like to visit them. And then of course, um, we were involved with the World War I Memorial that has been put up out near the Greene County Historical Society. So there's information here about the memorial and some pictures and videos, um, as well as a list thanking all of those who contributed to making that project happen. So now we're just gonna get right back to the main page one last time. The final page here is that about and contact um, page that we looked at earlier that you're going to see throughout the site. So that is a really quick whirlwind tour of the site. We are going to be doing more in-depth um, tours along with Q&A and some live Zoom sessions. So if you're interested in those, keep an eye on our Facebook page for events. And our Facebook page is, um, you can get to it in these A to Z databases. 
under Green Connections. Facebook group is where you can interact and Facebook page is where we put our announcements. So if you come here, you will see event notifications and other details. Um, and that's just facebook.com slash green connections. So that's where we will be announcing um, our Zoom videos if you'd like to participate and have a chance to ask questions and take a little uh, slower pace uh, examination. And we will also get more in depth into the archives section. So um, I hope that's a helpful start. We're really excited about the new website. We would really love your feedback. Um, if you find broken links, typos, if you have feedback about how we might um, make this all work, we would love to hear from you. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend.